three with one and only Dave Wilson. Um, we are going to get into more about the breed. Uh, we're going to see where it's going. I'm um, going to give you guys, well, he's going to give you guys some advice and follow it. And we're going <clears> to <throat> touch some subjects that are affecting this community in not a good way. Um, that needs to change so our competition our shows everything gets better <clears throat> so first thing i'm going to get into is now other registries um abkc original now you got all these bbcrs these cbrs these ibkcs these clubs like you said earlier um i believe that this is causing a negative impact for everyone, not just the ABKC, but all the registries, because then you've got everybody split up. What is your opinion on this? And do you agree with any of that that's going on? Um, <clears throat> no offense to the people who start the registry. I understand wanting to do something of your own. I get it, no hate there. Do I feel it's a problem? I feel it's detrimental to the breed at this stage because we're way too young of a breed. We are not completed. As we talked earlier about the quality of dogs in the ring and everything else, we are not at a level where we can have so many entities. We're just not there. And then when you have all these different entities with these different interpretations, eventually you're gonna flood out the breed. You're just gonna destroy it because it didn't even give it a chance to complete itself before we sent it in a million different directions. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's detrimental to the breed. It's why the in my opinion, no offense to old English breeders, no offense to the American Bulldog breeders, but because they jumped out really quick and had different re re registries early on, mm -hmm. that's why they never really got that finished thing that they needed. Yeah. Because it, it spread out too many ways too quick. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening with the American Bully. You've got all these people with their different interpretation where they want to do this and they want to do that, but we're not even there yet. So if you're starting to do all that now, on a breed that's still a baby, this is an infant stage. Most breeds take 70 plus years to develop. We're not even 20 years in this yet. So in less than 20 years to start doing this, it's just destroying it. Mm -hmm. And then everybody got, well, I like this version and I like this version. They want to tweak all these little things to have it just their way. So now you got, this is my registry, this is my way, this is my registry, this is my way. Unfortunately, the breed's not there. And no offense to the, the concept of it, Mm -hmm. But I'm not here Like a lot of people think Hey Casey's is about money And this is about money It's not about money I honest To God If I The community said Hey We don't want this anymore We don't do this Then we'll That's fine by me Because I've already done everything I really wanted to do in my life I'm good Yeah I'm here. good Now we're here We're a servant to the community And that's why we're here We serve the community And the community is you know, big now. And the community has so many different ideas. It's a very difficult community to serve because you've got all these different ideas and ideals and thoughts. And, 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 and we're in that time now in the world where everything's like that. You know, social media, just nobody, like everything's about going a different way, going a different way. You know, it's like, I get it, but we are way too young of a breed. And that, I promise you, eventually will be the demise of the breed because we will never have that true identity. And that's where we're going to run into a problem. And it's not me hating on a registry. It's not a conflict of finances or business. I'm not even worried about that. We're at a phase now, to be honest with you, during COVID, the dog world boomed crazy. Man. And in the process, we're a registration company. So we saw the boom. Man. We couldn't keep up with them all because you, during this COVID era, you lost staff. Mm -hmm. But the dog business went crazy. So people breeding and selling dogs like crazy. Yeah, that's so why your paperwork yeah. was late. Yeah, I mean, it was. It was going to be. It wasn't their fault. Right? Well, it, it was our fault in, in essence because we. I got mine on time. <laughs> no, but in, in essence, it is our fault because we weren't <laughs> prepared for the boom. Yeah. Nobody knew it was going to boom that much. Yeah, and, and it happened to all breeds, not just America. Well, yeah. And at the same time, you lost that. So now nobody's adults. working because of COVID, but everybody's breeding. So we still have to, you know, deal with it. So anyway, I mean, that it's. It's just, you know, things that went their way. And right now to have another registry, like I said, it's not about finances. What my point I was getting yeah. at was like, if we had less business, it would have been better for us for a period of time because it would give us a chance to catch, catch up. up. You know, which we are caught up now, by the way. 
Yeah, only good. so um, <laughs> finally. So anyway, but it, it's just it's detrimental this time, and it's just not the time for it. It's just you know when the breed, you know, seventy years had its true identity, and all these things were done, and we finally got to quality dogs, and we finally got to where everybody really understood the look of the breed, and all these things. Fine at that point, if that's the way it goes. Yeah. That's the way it goes. But right now, it's just it's hurting. It's hurting everything, and people don't realize how bad it's hurting it. And it's not just hurting the shows, it's hurting the identity of our dogs, it's hurting the perception of the breed. Mm -hmm. There's just so many things. And this place was for everybody. And if you notice, everybody that has a registry started here. They were all with ABKC at one point in time. Yeah, where all they all them, come from. Whether they were a host, whether they were a competitor, whether they were a breeder, they were all here. And a lot of them excelled in ABKC. Some of them excelled as hosts. Some of them excelled as breeders. Some of them excelled as, you know, uh, competitors and things like that. So all these people did well in ABKC. Everybody who has a registry right now did well in ABKC. Mm -hmm. So I don't really understand why you want to leave something that you began in and that you excelled in and that the breed needs you. Like there's people that have left and gone things that we need those people. We didn't really need you to leave. We need you here. Mm -hmm. You had a purpose here and your purpose was what you were doing. So it hurts me a lot of times to see that because like, man, like we really worked hard for you, yeah. and, and and you did well here, and we still actually really want you here. So you guys had a relationship. Yeah, right? and, and, and they they played a, a good purpose and a good role in what we we're doing. So I don't like it, and I think you know again. I mean, I don't hate the people, hmm. and I'm not hating on those things. I'm not out there campaigning against it. No, but you're asking my feeling on it. My feeling yeah. is that we're too young for it, and uh, we need them here. You know, like you said, twenty years young. Now, yes. the breed, not even the breed still hasn't had its true identity. And then you're out here making more registries. Yeah. So therefore, you, in a sense, the breeds are moving a little too fast because of people's different point of views and the, what they think this breed is supposed to be. When there is a standard and there's a uh, uh, a look and everything that he designed. It's not even me at this stage. The American Bully oh, was designed by the, the community to be, yeah. be truthful. But the bottom line is, it, it's going to affect the stability. And, 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 and people on the outside, they, they make a mockery of us because they're like, these people, they can't even do this. They can't do this. They can't do this. They can't get along. Can't, like, come on. We are a big family, man. We were all a family. We came together because we were so diverse and everybody had the same interest. And like the ABKC used to be that place where all the things that went on outside in the world, when you came in here, it wasn't that way. Man, we dogs. were family. It was, was all family. about the dogs, all about just being family with everybody from everywhere, every race, religion orientation everything and that's what made us so beautiful that's what made us so strong and it was that unity that actually got us to where we are today so when you start tearing that down mm -hmm. you're tearing yourself down as well and you don't realize it you might think you're going somewhere but you're also tearing yourself down because now you're separating from something that it's just way too early and it was never meant to be that way so mm -hmm. you know I, I just I don't agree with it I think it's it's gonna affect the stability of the breed to be honest with you. yeah I agree there's a lot of just hate and just negativity which you know everyone shows it at some point but there's a way to do it professionally and correctly not hate but a misunderstanding needs to be addressed when it needs to be addressed with the person you have the issue with yeah. so if you have an issue with mr wilson then you say hey man this is my problem you don't go bash his ass online running your mouth and then think that you're somebody or think that you're making yourself look good because you're making yourself look bad and you're making it look bad for the outsiders looking in and not, but you're not addressing the actual person. And, and you're that, not, that's a you chicken address way to the, do be, be yeah. a man or a woman and address the problem. Yeah. So now, your love for the breed, your dedication to this breed, this this man, yeah, of course, made money. Everyone wants to make money, but you can tell just from talking to him and from my personal experience talking to him, he does care about this breed, cares about everything to do with this breed and the community as a whole. And people need to recognize real intentions rather than who said what about who. And you don't know what the backstory is, what the problems were, whatever it was. Now, the longevity of this breed, you keep saying that, you know, you see it dwindling in a sense because of people not doing things correctly, other registries coming, it's moving too quickly. Where do you see this breed going? I mean, I mean, for everybody in the next, you know, 10 to 20 years. I mean, if we're going the way that we're going, it's going to go downhill. But where do you want to see it go? 
Well, that's the thing, like you said, if we go the way we're going, there's going to be 40 different types of American movies. Exactly. That's why that. the exotic and all these other things popped up because people just. Not bring that topic up. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying, though. <laughs> I mean, know. That's the point of like, that's what happens. So if it goes yeah, the way it goes, you're going to have 40 different things calling itself something, and it's just, at that point, it loses its stability. And that's mm -hmm. the truth for it. The bottom line is, we do listen to the community. The, the problem is, the community doesn't realize. They think, well, there's 40 of us saying this. So this is the way y'all should be listening to us 40. We're the community. Well, there might be 80 over here saying this. There might be 2,000 over here saying this. We listen to the community. Mm -hmm. So we have to take all of these things into consideration all the time. We are a community-based registry. That's how we began. Like I said, we are grassroots built. You know, that's who we are. That's how we began. We never stop listening to the community. The only thing is the community doesn't always know best. Or the community, you might think we are all the community. Mm -hmm. When, like I said before, no, you're just a piece of a community mm -hmm. and there's other opinions there's other ideas and it's our job to always listen and try to figure out is there a direction that we need to go that the community is pushing for that's going to help this breed get to another level and we always listen doesn't mean that we always act because it doesn't always mean that you can act it doesn't always mean that it's the right thing or it doesn't always mean that the timeline is here some people want instant gratification other people need time to build so our job is to be in the middle here help these people build but give the gratification, you know what I mean? It's like, teach them how to get there. So it's not an easy thing to do. And if you were here years ago, mm -hmm. compared to where we are here today, we've done a lot, a whole lot. If you had gone to the shows back when we began, mm -hmm. like the first shows in 2005 and six, mm -hmm. seeing what you see in the ring and seeing what you see here today, two completely different worlds. Yeah. We are progressing and we're gonna continue to keep the platform we have. We're gonna continue to offer the service we have and we're gonna to continue to work. So hopefully at some point people will say, let's get behind what has been behind us the entire time and let's continue this together. We'll have our part. We'll always do what we do. We're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So hopefully the community starts to realize and say, okay, let's stay with this thing. Let's let's ride this thing out. Let's get to where we need to be. So now people that are involved in this strictly because of money or the perception of having an American bully, what it stands for, whatever the case is. Um, what do you think about that as them as, should they be in this game or become breeders or be involved in this community? For the Because it doesn't seem like they're in it for the longevity of the breed. The dang, like they, they see the dollar bills or the perception of owning a badass dog, whatever the case might be. What do you feel about people like that that aren't doing it for the right things for this breed? Honestly, you're never going to stop that. I mean, when there's money involved in something, people are going to do something for the purpose evil. of money. Right. It doesn't always have to be evil. I mean, there are people that do the right thing yeah. and they do it for money. Yeah. I mean, it exists. And whenever there's money involved in something, you're going to get more attention. It can help and it can hurt. Mm -hmm. More attention, more money brings more attention, obviously. Mm -hmm. More attention does bring more interest into a breed. So there's some necessary evil sometimes that hype things and, and financial things and things like that are negative on one aspect, but on the other aspect, they're positive in the fact that it draws interest into something. Mm -hmm. So you need those. You need flashy breeders. You need some of these guys that you might not like because they're boisterous or they're got a cocky ego or all those things but those things are actually necessary to keep the breed in the limelight to keep yeah. drawing the downside is when you got people who are their sole purpose is money 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 and they don't care about what they're doing well dogs that's detrimental up. yeah bad, bad those are bad orders well, exactly like that. but these are common sense things like people who don't yeah. care for their dogs properly do. you don't want those people there because they're hurting the individual dogs yeah. they're hurting their the reputation of the breed they're hurting everything you don't want that so it's a fine line but you can't just draw the line between money and not money because they're there there is an element of money that draws attention and there is an element of money that can be done in the right way so it's just, it's common sense things. It's the ones that don't care about the breed or don't care about the livelihood of a dog or these things. Those are the people that you don't need because those are the ones doing wrong. I agree. Now, um, we gotta cut this a little short. Um, so I'm gonna ask you this one last thing. Um, 
what do we gotta do going forward? What do we for this community? Like what do what do the breeders and the dog men and women in this community have to do to let us go forward and not go in the path the path that we're going right now in the negative limelight? What we need to do, in all honesty, is get back to a little bit of what we began on, and that is respect for each other. Mm -hmm. I think the world in general needs that. I think that we're all entitled to our own opinions. We're all entitled to our own taste, you know? The bottom line is we don't have to hate on somebody else if they don't have the same taste or they don't have the same opinion or that we hate on each other for so many reasons when actually we just need to respect each other. If you don't agree, you don't like something, Okay, that's fine, but we don't have to hate each other for that. Our community was built on the opposite of hate. Our community was built on unity, bringing so many people together to get away from hate, to get away from discrimination, to get away from all these things, to just be good-hearted, core people that are in it for the right reason, and it's a love of a breed. And that's, if we can get back into that mentality, we'll go a lot further. Right now, we're more into the tear each other down, point fingers, attack a person, do this, it. We're, we're into that instead of building each other up. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to constantly tear each other down and never build each other up, that's going to be the demise of everything, humanity, everything. Mm -hmm. So we need to get back to where we're building each other up. We're helping each other. We're working together. We're able to uh, disagree, but agree to disagree. We're able to talk about, it. talk about it, respect our wishes. You know, I mean, so many things. And it's just we need to get back to the actual respect of why we were here. Stop worrying about the next guy so much. Stop worrying about this. Just help uplift each other and help uplift the breed to where we can get it in a better place. As I said before, uh oh, we got a dog here. As I said before, one second. We'll be there in a minute. We can edit that So, as I said before, until we're getting rings with quality dogs, stop pointing the fingers at the judges. Start pointing the fingers at yourself. Look yep. in the mirror. And that's what everybody needs to do. Just look in the mirror and say, how can I be a better breeder? How can I be a better person? How can I make this better for everybody? Because we are a community. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're all based upon. And we need to work together as a community. And if we don't, we're never going to get anywhere. Yeah. So, do your own thing. Go on your own path. Don't let other people's influence influence you or what you see, what you hear. Don't let that be a part of your agenda. Do what's right for yourself. Do the breed. Look at yourself in the mirror when you have a dilemma, be a man, talk to the person or a woman and talk to the person that you got an issue with. Let's uplift this community, let's uplift this breed, let's get back on track where we need to be. I hope this uh, summed up some stuff you guys wanted to know um, from Mr. Dave Wilson and I uh, hope you guys like it and tune in for more. Uh, I'm going to do a little evaluation of his uh, quarters here and uh, I'll hopefully post that up also. Alright, take care guys.